I'll let you know. Okay, so I've asked this uh, lovely question about avoiding um, indulging in ego thoughts, yeah, in, and, and coming back to neutral. This is actually a great uh, Course in Miracles um, question. So actually that's quite correct. There's a payoff of being a thinker. There's a, there is an inner um, addiction to having personal thoughts, like these belong to me. Um, so the course, from Course in Miracles point, one of the very first lessons, making all thoughts meaningless. The thing that every single thought, and the Course makes even your good thoughts, are meaningless, you know, like, uh, I mean, like most people will say, like, I just want to get rid of my bad thoughts, but like, I'm a nice, I'm, I'm, I'm really attractive, I, I've got very nice hair, uh, those could be good thoughts, uh, uh, I think a lot of people like me, those could be good, thoughts. but even those need to be brought down to uh, into um, meaninglessness. So that's how you make them neutral, or actually how you transcend if you want to, and disappear personal thoughts so they no longer ever exist. There's not a me having thoughts of the future, the past, to control anything. In fact, there's no need to control anything. Uh, that, that, that uh, for me, how it starts to happen as, as a, a more advanced. Um, I, should, I know someone doesn't like the word advanced, at different levels of consciousness. Um, so, um, so how do you let it go? So one of them actually is the course. Um, so, but here's the attitude I'd say, like all my thoughts, I mean, do the course lessons because they're, they're, they are miraculous. You know, um, I think there's one where you just watch them impassively, the thoughts and just don't try and hook in. That, that is brilliant. That's like self-inquiry. Um, so there's no, there's no need to, oh, I just had a good thought. Oh, I didn't like that. I just had a bad thought. So it's just like watching with neutrality. And then or recognizing that every single thought, even your good thoughts and your bad thoughts are meaningless. But for me, it's more like a inner intention or attitude that every single, th I don't even have to go to what I call the TV set of thinking. I'll share how it was in my experience, share experience. Um, for me, as soon as I want to think, it's like, it almost feels like there's an energy field, like a TV set in front of me. And when I, I mean the empty me, the observer, uh, and it's like something wants to hook into that field of thoughts, like almost like a movie screen. So I just share my experience. And so for me, as soon as I recognize that energy of being a thinker, uh, I don't claim enlightenment, or so I say that on the video, uh, so that it never happens that I become a personal thinker or a, pers uh, or a personal body. But um, I rose, okay, I'm back in the ego. It's like the, something has switched on identification and, and wants to get a hit a payoff, the juice of having good or bad thoughts. And I think there is a thing of wallowing in bad thoughts. Oh, poor me, I just had a miserable life, but oh, poor me. Or even good thoughts, like I'm so amazing and uh, you know, I'm, I'm the best uh, body and collection of thoughts ever, <laughs> yeah, collection of thoughts ever to be. So it doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. So, um, so that's also an addiction. Um, and generally an ego. Um, so to realize, so at the level of the course, I mean, most people at the level of therapy will say, I just don't want the bad thoughts. I, I just like good self-esteem thoughts. Um, and let me just reread the question um, again. So combat thought, com I'll get it to neutrality and, uh, and, uh, uh, and indulging. Yeah, neutrality. So if all your, from my experience, whenever something is meaningless, it no longer registers. I know this is not explained well, but it disappears. Um, I think this is actually quite easy, even everyday experience. It's like, uh, imagine being infatuated by the new thing. I don't know, maybe it's Pokemons or, or the latest handbag or whatever it is. And it's like, you see it everywhere. And then a few years later, it's totally boring and meaningless. And in fact, you'd rather puke than think about it. And you just notice you live in a world that's, ha you know, that's, for example, make a joke, free of Michael Kors hand, but you don't see it anywhere in the world. It's like it's been transcended. It ceases to exist in your experience. Now, this transcendence of thoughts, uh, and I know I'll be asked a clever question soon, but you can ask me uh, later in the group. Um, transcendent means that um, essentially, 
you no longer have personal thoughts. Now there's different levels which are is more evolved, which I won't go into in this video of different levels of consciousness. But um, so, oh yes, so how do you do, get to that neutrality? One is the meaninglessness, have the attitude, or I would say in my own words, that you don't want to pay attention to thoughts. The only reason something would want to pay attention, a thinker would want to pay attention to thoughts is because they think there could be some meaning or entertainment or value in those thoughts. Mm. I'll say that again. The only reason there is a me that wants to have a thought is because it might be useful. Uh, I'm talking now at the level of the course because normal languaging of therapy and everyday language wouldn't, wouldn't work, but something wants to be entertained by the thought or thinks there's utility. Like, you know, this next thought might be on how, how I'm gonna win the lottery or this next thought might be on how I can say something clever to, um, to that girl, that pretty girl over there or something, whatever it is. So, or, or I need the next thought for survival. Uh, if, I, if I was to not think, then uh, what's gonna take care of me? So uh, surely I need to be a body and a thinker to survive even, you know, I'll forget to eat and I'll, um, I'll forget my favorite Netflix program. So, you know, could, could be quite serious if I stop thinking. So um, anyway, um, I'll stop.